Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of What is in Our Stand today. Today we're going to talk about bar tape wrapping. Now, I wrap bar tape far different than anyone else that I've seen. You might even say I wrap it in reverse from what other people do. But I like it this way and I'll explain why. But if you've been coming on to the channel, um, I do see my analytics and I know there's quite a few of you that like my stuff but haven't subscribed. Please subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I've posted a new video. So let's take a look at what tools you need to wrap bar tape. So the primary thing that obviously you're going to need is the bar tape. A bar minder. I, I use this to keep the handlebar from swinging side to side while I'm wrapping. But bar minder, bar tape, pair of scissors. I use a rubber mallet to drive in the bar plug. I'll show you how I do that. And then this guy is just so that you never know. You could be in the middle of a job, and especially my shop, because I'm a one-man shop. I almost always get interrupted. So... I use this to hold my place and hold the bar tape while I address maybe something else. Okay, so let's get started with wrapping this bar tape. And let me show you what I mean by I wrap it in reverse. So many people, and let's use this side here because it's closer to the camera and you can see it better. I, I would say the majority of the bar tape that I see wrapped here starts here at the end, comes up this way, and terminates up here. Now, that's great, and that's traditional, and that's the way 90% of the bar tape, well, I should say 99% of the bar tape that I see, that's the way other shops wrap it. I'd like to offer you an alternative, the way I wrap bar tape. And the reason I wrap it this way is because I don't have any black electrical tape as, or even the, the manufacturer supplied finishing tape here at the, at the end. Oftentimes that black electrical tape is, you know, this, this, um, um, adhesive gets all gooey, gets all messy, and, and you know, like let's say you have white bar tape and then you have black finishing tape. It just doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to show you how I wrap it, and I, as I mentioned, some might say I wrap it in reverse. Now, if you're riding the bike and you're sitting here with your hands like this, it's a natural tendency to kind of pull pull down. You wouldn't typically go forward. You'd kind of pull down. So we want to wrap the bar tape in the direction of the way your hands would naturally pull. For example, if you're here in the drops, you would also kind of turn this way to grip the bar. You wouldn't go that way. You would grip the bar and possibly grip it this way. So what we want to do is wrap the bar tape in the direction that we grip the bar and we want to wrap the bar tape also down here in the direction we grip the bar. And to make the transition between the tops of the bars and the drops, we have to do a figure eight through here. Now, another thing I don't use is the manufacturer supplied um, remnant tape that they put here to cover up this clamp. And I'll show you why I don't do that either. Well, I'll show you how I get away with not using it, but the reason I don't use it is because it gets too bulky and you've got just too much going on here. So as I mentioned before, you want to wrap in that direction. So this bar here, you can see it's thin and then it gets fat. So you can see that it's, it's fat along where the stem clamps it. And then right here, it starts to taper off. So right there where it starts to taper off, that's where I'm gonna start wrapping my tape, okay? So, the, 
the first bit right here has to be nice and tight because from this point on, that's what's going to be held down by the next layer and the next layer and so on and so forth. So since there's no, no finishing tape, there's nothing there to hold it in place except for the the tension from the tape and this adhesive which isn't very good but it helps a little bit so you want to do maybe half of the strip every time that you loop around now as I mentioned before, you need the bar minder. And of course I got ahead of myself. I didn't put it on there. So now let's put it on there. And that really helps because now the bars are in place and I can tug on the bar tape and get a nice snug fit. And you want to wrap it in an angle because you are headed towards the brake hood underneath the brake hood here shortly. Just keep wrapping around. And as I mentioned before, let's say the phone rings, dog comes up, wants to, wants to be pet, or one of your children needs to ask you something, boom, you put this little guy there, it holds the bar tape in place. Take care of the thing you need to take care of. And then when you come back, you just take that off, right? So that's the easy way, in my opinion, to have it so that if you need to, you can uh, hold the tape in place. Now, what we're going to do is continue here. And believe it or not, before I owned my own shop, and actually even before that, I always thought wrapping bar tape was such a mystery. And, you know, I, I would pull on the bar tape and I would end up ripping it. Okay, so here's the clamp. And we're going to try to hide that clamp behind the bar tape. So we're going to go around the back up over the top and then around the front again or front for me it is the back of the handlebar and see we've hid the clamp so there's no need for that extra strip now if you recall earlier I said normally you'd end up it's just a natural tendency you'd probably grip the bar this way so you want to wrap it in that direction, right? So that's the way we're going now. Now, sometimes you may have to wrap it two or three times just to get the right amount overlapping and making sure you don't run out of bar tape. Now, sometimes you also may want to put an extra strip here if you ride the drops a lot and you want a little bit added comfort. Or you may want to add another strip here on the tops. Um, it just depends where you ride, what, what kind of road conditions you have. And then always run your hand along the bottom because you want to make sure that the tape is overlapping. Now, as we start getting towards the end of this, get rid of that. And just keep pulling on it. Make sure that adhesive, it's like an ace bandage, if, if anyone's ever wrapped an ace bandage. The ace bandage, the compression, and the stickiness of it 
Okay, so see, I'm a little bit short. So it happens, happens to everyone. Unwrap a little bit. And this here where you had a little bit of additional overlap, just kind of space that out a little bit. And go again. And always check, make sure it is still overlapping. And here we go. Okay, so now we have good even space. We make sure it is not, uh, there's no bar coming out from underneath the bar tape. Now, take your bar plug. This particular bar plug has a logo on it. So we want to make sure that we put that logo where it's supposed to be. So this is what I do with the end here. Push that end in there like that. Take your logo, make sure it's level to the ground in this case. Make sure you're stuffing everything in there. And get it started with your hands. Now, I like these bar plugs because it's kind of like a fish barb. Once it goes in, it grabs. Then, if you have a nice logo on there, you may want to get a rag and then pound it in like this. This logo is, is pretty muted, so it's fine. See that? So now that bar plug is in, it's gonna be a really hard effort for that to come out. Come all the way around here. We've hidden the clamp. We've wrapped around the whole bar, nice evenly spaced. Now we pull back on the brake hood And see, it's not bulky. It's not bulging out. It's nice and slim the way Shimano designed it. And it's super clean. No finishing tape, no weird stuff going on down here. And in my opinion, that looks a lot neater. And that is the way I wrap the bar tape and in my opinion, this is also going to last longer because you don't have this electrical tape, as I said before, where the adhesive gets all gooey and it comes off and then you try to wrap it again and it's just a mess. But I don't know anyone else who wraps bar tape this way, but because I'm so meticulous, I pride myself in, you know, like this bike here, complete overhaul. But then the finishing tape is the thing that the customer sees all the time. And if it's your bike, it's something you see all the time. You're not going to see what's going on on your drivetrain. But when you're riding the bike, you're going to see the bar tape all the time. So um, fresh bar tape always gets you motivated, always makes you feel good when you ride your bike. So hopefully this helps you um, find or learn a different way, an alternative way of wrapping your bar tape. Okay, so if you thought this was informative, if you thought I was entertaining in some way, please like this, um, like this video so that YouTube knows it's relevant and starts ranking it up. And we're getting really close to 300 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you down the road.